Welcome back. You are watching DXB today. And now if you're not already a fitness freak, we're about to make you one. <laughs> because the Dubai Fitness Challenge is here and we're telling you what you should be doing, how and where. And our next guest is no exception. If you want to get involved in this year's Dubai Fitness Challenge, who better to get all the details from than the manager of leisure events and festivals at the Dubai Department of Economy and Tourism. Welcome back to the show, Ari Marada. Thank you for joining Thank us again. Thank you for having me. Thank now you. Now let's just hand out all the basics. Let everyone know what's going on here. Dubai Fitness Challenge. How did it start? Who started it? Why is it still with us? Yeah, so uh, it was started, it was an initiative by His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Uh, his whole vision behind the Dubai Fitness Challenge was to make Dubai one of the most active cities in the world. Uh, the whole idea of it is to basically do 30 minutes of exercise for 30 days and then hopefully once you're done with those 30 days, you know, you will develop uh, kind of, you can say, lifelong habits that will stay with you uh, throughout your life. Well, they say 21 days makes a habit, right? Exactly. Three weeks, so we can a month. We can do it. <laughs> I do want to ask about some of like the logistics. Amazing events to be able to cycle or run down Sheikh Zayed Road with those amazing views. Great for us. How difficult is that to organize? Um, I mean, it's it's fun to organize. It's uh, it's amazing to be able to work as part of the team who you know um, supports His Highness's initiative. So you know, it's it's great fun, and we enjoy putting it out putting it out for the city. And we love being on it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so then, how do people get involved? I think that's the first and foremost, right? Because there is so much going on in the city. It can be a little bit overwhelming, but how do we get involved? Okay, so DubaiFitnessChallenge.com website is the place to register and see basically the entire calendar of events of, you know, the things that are taking place during the 30 days. Uh, but I would say with the Dubai Fitness Challenge, it's all about doing those small changes that would ultimately lead to a bigger impact in your life. Uh, it can be things like, uh, you know, starting off your day before work with a, uh, I don't know, 30 minute meditation session, uh, taking the stairs instead of the elevator, things like uh, doing your online meetings while you're walking around instead of sitting. It's those small changes, again, that can you know, lead to a bigger impact in your life. And then with the Dubai Fitness Challenge, Dubai just turns into a city-wide gym. Uh, so there is a lot to do. Again, it's all on our website for people to uh, explore and, and see what to do for, for this edition. What would you say are some of the biggest standout events? Okay, so yeah. we have three, I would say, mass events. Um, the first one being the stand-up paddle event. So that's taking place in Hatta on the 2nd of November. Uh, you know, you get to do some stand-up paddling while you enjoy the beautiful scenes in Hatta. So that's definitely an amazing one. Uh, we have Dubai Run and Dubai Ride, which are, of course, I, I would say people's favorite. Um, so that's where Sheikh Zayed Road turns into a giant uh, cycling or running track uh, for, for Dubai. So those are definitely ones I would highlight. What would you say are some of the changes that you've seen the city go through since the first edition, uh, the past few years and this year? I mean, what we see um, and the way the city has transformed into kind of a more active and more fit city is, is amazing to see. Um, and it's all thanks to, of course, our leadership and especially His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Um, if we look at numbers, if we look at the very first edition of the Dubai Fitness Challenge of 2017, uh, we had around 700,000 participants. The last edition in 2023, we had um, over 2.4 million participants. Whoa. Um, yeah, so it's, wow. it's crazy to see the numbers. Again, same thing with Dubai Run, Dubai, the first edition of Dubai Run, uh, where it was um, just over 70,000 participants. Mm. The last edition was around 226,000 participants. So just these numbers alone can you know, come to show you how much of an impact that Dubai Fitness Challenge has had on the city. And again, it's all thanks to our leadership. I mean, that is incredible. What amazing progress. I gotta love Dubai for their initiatives. They just come out of something and yeah. But I love it because of what, what you're gonna say is they'll, they'll just, excuse the pun, but they run with it, right? Yeah. <laughs> they come up with these ideas and they go, right, let's just do it. And then everyone kind of gets involved, involved, involved. Nothing ever, nothing ever really fails, right? It just keeps going and getting bigger and better. For people who are, want to use this as an opportunity to kickstart a healthier lifestyle, what advice do you have for them? What's a good first step? I would say just, you know, go out and do something that you've always wanted to try or something you've always wanted to explore. 